What is going on guys? Just a quick video. Now, a lot of people were, you know, kind of split about the whole Rayman thing because they thought that Nintendo and Ubisoft still had beef. I know the beef kind of goes back a little bit far, but I know a main point of it was when Watch Dogs was released for the Wii U really late and then it didn't really get DLC right away. And there was a whole lot of back and forth controversy between Nintendo and Ubisoft because of that. So when it came to Rayman being in Super Smash Brothers, a lot of people were skeptical. I mean, ugh. Man, I can't talk today. A lot of people were skeptical because they thought, you know, because of those terms that Ubisoft and Nintendo wouldn't really be working together. But it seems like maybe on Ubisoft's end, they're willing to put things behind them because Rayman's official Twitter, um, it's funny because this Rayman Twitter is actually following me, which is pretty damn cool. You're only following 108 people and Rayman's following my ass. I had Rayman on the Dreamcast and it was an amazing experience, but um, it says, yesterday's Rayman, retro Rayman revealed a Smashified Rayman? You can help make this happen. This caught a lot of people off guard because all of a sudden, holy shit, Ubisoft and Nintendo, are these guys on good terms now? Or maybe it's not necessarily that they're on good terms, but Ubisoft is willing to put those things to the side to get Rayman in the game. You guys may not know this about me, but right now I'm vouching for Rayman to be in Smash 100%. I feel like he's the perfect character for it. There's a lot of people that say King K. Rule deserves to be in the game. Maybe he definitely does. We don't really have an antagonist from the Donkey Kong series, but I feel like Rayman would fit in better. We just have a lot of big characters, and this is something that Sakurai had said before. There's a lot of large sized characters in the game. Adding King K. Rule would be another one of those, and I don't know, it's too soon to say this kind of thing, but would he really be that competitively viable? Not that I know that much about competitive play in the first place, but I do know the basics, and I know that if you're a big ass hitbox, then it's not exactly like you're gonna be the best character in the game, but either way, I don't care. The point is, is that Rayman, in my opinion, is like the best fit for this game, but that is just opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and what do you think in general about Rayman now being pushed by Ubisoft to get into Smash? It would work so perfectly, and to be honest with you, after the whole Smashify thing that Artsy Omni did, and how much controversy that caused, and how many people's hearts were set on it, and how excited the community got, and the millions of people that watched that video, well maybe not millions, but you know, almost a million, I feel like it's simple science to get Rayman in Smash after that. Sakurai should have seen from that happening that Rayman is a requested character. I mean, to be honest with you guys, I wouldn't be surprised if Nintendo and Ubisoft were in talks right now about the whole thing. But then again, why would Ubisoft post this then if they were in talks about it? But I just feel as if after that, Rayman's like the perfect candidate. We all know that he's now wanted in Smash. There were sure a lot of people that didn't want him, but that will be the case with any character. You know, even Shovel Knight. There's a lot of people that do want Shovel Knight, and I, or I agree, he would be a cool character to be in the game. But there's a lot of people that don't want Shovel Knight at the same time. And it's just that level of denial, well maybe not denial, but you're going to have that many naysayers no matter what character it is. So. Either way, I feel like Rayman and Shovel Knight would be good fits. If he's going to put in two DLC characters, then I feel like that could work as well. But if it's just one, I say Rayman. But let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.